We're the only ones here, all alone, in this big And as I'm thinking this, I can feel my body leaning in. Before I can even comprehend what's going on, I close my eyes and... Do any of y'all have girlfriends? No, not a girlfriend. Girls who are your best friends. Cause if not, y'all are missing out. And let me explain why. Very few things vibe harder than chilling with a shorty on some calm stuff. I can't stargaze with my homies. Like late night calls, going on dates, trying to pick different places to eat at with someone who loves food as much as you. It's a whole vibe for example i like going on quote unquote dates you don't have to be dating someone to go on a date i find them fun and entertaining hanging out with a girl who is your friend just to get something from her at the end ain't really my style and here's why number one my parents raised me better than that okay either your parents give you good morals or you teach yourself some. Number two, I value other people's time and emotions, and a lot of other people aren't like that. But most importantly, number three, I value my time. If you're hanging out with a girl, right, and at the end, you expected something and you didn't get it. Not only do you get a full ride scholarship to clown college, you also just wasted your time, which is your most valuable asset on earth. That's why I go for the activity. If we're going to watch My Hero Academia Tale of Two Heroes in 3D while stuffing our face with popcorn, then that's what I'm there for. Let me tell y'all a story. I went over to my girl, comma, friend's houses. We're gonna call her Juliet. And Juliet's house is huge. I'm talking, you gotta drive two minutes into her driveway, you. She has a full movie theater in her basement with rows of seats. Like, how are you this rich? The movie theater is through a soundproof door, and on the other side of the door is a game room. We go into her basement, and before we start watching a movie, she's like, I gotta go change because I just came from school. Help yourself to whatever's in the fridge while you wait. <laughs> Say less. I go over to her fridge. I get like four Capri Suns. I am chilling. This is why I loved having white friends growing up. Because they were always mad rich. I head into her theater. And there's like this huge space between the theater screen and where the row starts and she has a bunch of bean bags around the bottom of the theater so i get an idea how many times do you get to lay in a movie theater exactly i get all of the bean bags together i set up a pile for her to lay on then i set up a pile for me to lay on i'm lit this is a vibe i get to chilling on my bean bag bed minding my business waiting for shorty to come back then i hear the door open and when i look to see who opened it i see juliet and she's wearing a white t-shirt that's way too big for her but also not big enough all the girls know exactly what shirt i'm talking about that shirt that like stops at your thighs and she has like two trays of just foods and drinks and snacks and candy. She comes down the steps of the theater and sees the two piles I made and is like, why are the bean bags spread apart like that? Put them together, that way we can be closer and share this food. Ch say less. So we Pangea the bean bags together 
And as the movie is just going on, we're just vibing. We were watching Spirited Away. It was a great time. Alone in a movie theater, watching anime with a shorty. And that's why having a couple of girlfriends are cool to have, cause what I described to you was a moment that's not as vibe-y with another dude or by yourself. Not that there's anything wrong with watching movies by yourself, but you get what I'm saying. Now, let me explain to you where most guys mess up at. As I was watching the movie, I take a look over at Juliet, and I don't know if it was the four Capri Suns talking, or if it was the mood of it all, or if it was the light softly reflecting off of her skin, but something in me told me you should kiss her. But Stanley, I thought you said hanging out with a girl just to get something from her ain't really your style. It's not like I'm immune to realizing my friend is attractive. Like, that baggy t-shirt wasn't doing a good job at covering anything. Also, to add insult to injury, here's something I also forgot to mention. Y'all ever watch a movie at home with jeans on? Yeah, me neither, because I'm watching the movie with no pants on at all in her house. <laughs> I don't even know if this is something I should be admitting. But when I came over, I had pants on, and when she brought the food to me, she also brought blankets. So while I was watching the movie, I got hot and something had to go. It was either between my shirt or my pants. I had to choose one. I couldn't save both. So I sacrificed my pants. I didn't know what to do. So now I'm in here double caked up with 50% of my clothes off. She also has 50% of her clothes off. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not in my element right now. I just keep side glancing at her and then she would side glance at me. Then we will both go back to the movie. Happens like twice. I'm like, I. Right, if I'm gonna kiss her, then do it. Do it now and whatever happens, happens. No, Stanley, you can't. You gotta value your friendships. Bro, she's basically dressing up like a steak with Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce on her. A lion has to eat. I don't even know what he's talking about. Listen to me. Put your pants back on, watch the movie, and relax. Yeah, let me skip you guys the suspense. The good angel in me lost. So I'm looking at her and she looks amazing. Then I look at her boo baggy t-shirt not doing its job and that looks equally as amazing. <laughs> then I remember we're the only ones here all alone in this big so at that point, a part of me genuinely believed she set all of this up. Cause like, how is this all coincidental? Like what would you do in this specific situation? If you were in my shoes, would you spit game? Or would you keep eating mozzarella sticks? Exactly, you would spit game. So I just start thinking to myself, Stanley, are you and Juliet? really about to kiss and as i'm thinking this i can feel my body leaning in before i can even comprehend what's going on i close my eyes and we kissed psych y'all know i'm not that bold what really happened is I hear this loud sound from Spirited Away. I think it was the part where Haku fell from the ceiling, but it immediately forced my eyes to open. I thought God just struck me with lightning for trying to spit game or something. So it made all of my common sense kick in, and I'm like, wait, what am I doing? This isn't some random shorty. This is Juliet. You don't want to kiss Juliet. I get myself together, eat like three more mozzarella sticks, and completely disregarded the thought of ever trying to pull a move on Juliet ever again. We finished the movie, it's like 11pm, 
The rest of the night went amazing. She takes me home and drops me off. And to this day, she is a very cool friend of mine that I can still just vibe with. The reason why I didn't do anything is because Shorty is my friend, okay? And that's also not what I came over there to do. And every girl that becomes your friend shouldn't have to be a love interest the minute you get an opportunity to do so. No matter how beautiful she is, no matter the circumstance that we're in together, all it takes is a little bit of self-control to be friends with an attractive shorty. So like, what's the what's the takeaway from this video? <laughs> nigga, I don't know, nigga. God was C-blocking me, I guess. Okay, okay, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But nah, seriously, the takeaway from this video is get you some girlfriends, bro. Like, don't let anybody tell you that guys and girls can't be friends, bro. Like, it's cap. We too young for all that. You just got to know how to pick the right ones just like you should know how to pick the right friends in general right right what i will say though is being friends with a shorty and trying to make a shorty who's your friend turn into your girlfriend is two completely different things but, um, that's, that's besides the point anywho my name is daily animations i hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about Movie Theater Girl. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe on the video. Please, please like the video. And after that, I hope you guys follow me on all of my social media. I paid somebody to make those. So please don't let those go to waste. I love you all. Y'all know what I'm about to say next. So say it with me. It's a wrap. Fade to black.